Hi, welcome to Coding in Blitz Basic. Um, it's been a while. I'm hoping to make a load of new tutorials this time and to keep the ball rolling, I think. Uh, I've had some time off, I've moved house, uh, my job's been getting in the way a hell of a lot. Uh, I'm also on a different computer now, but hopefully it'll be set up. I'm sure you should be able to see just, just as clearly as you could before. Okay, I'm going to look at um, how to replace your mouse cursor with a icon or a sprite or in blitz terms um, an image. Uh, you'll see this a lot in games where if you've got a game in windowed mode or even full screen mode the mouse cursor might appear instead of an arrow uh, may appear as, I don't know, a gun sight or something like that uh, or a hand or something like that. Um, the 3D version of this would be if you play something like black and white the mouse cursor is depicted as a hand um, or populous as a hand again so it's just how we're going to do that sort of thing. So we're going to set up our graphics mode Use the lower res mode so you can see it clearly. I'm put it in a window. And first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use the hide pointer command. You just specify that on its own. Uh, all that will do is that when the mouse pointer is over that window, it will hide the normal kind of white arrow that you can see in the Windows arrow, and we'll be able to replace that with whatever image we want. So I'm going to load an image. Image cursor, to load image cursor.png. So let me check if that's what I call it. Yep, cursor.png. That's going to be our mouse cursor image. We're going to mid handle that. And all we're going to do is we're going to set up uh, double buffering, so we're going to flip the back buffer to the front buffer. So set buffer, back buffer. While not key hit one. So while we don't press escape, repeat the next loop after that loop in the program. So in this loop, we're just going to clear the screen and draw that mouse image, image cursor. And we're going to use two new commands now, which is mouse x, which gives you the uh, x coordinate of the mouse cursor, and then y, mouse y, which gives you the y coordinate of the mouse pointer. So all that will do is it will replace that with one number, that with another, and draw that image at that location. So we clear the screen, draw that image, and then flip the buffers around. Mm -hmm. So if I run this program, you can see that oh, I get an error. Someone commented on a different video actually, they got this error, and I believe the reason is because they wrote the code out, didn't save the code first before trying to run it, so Blitz tries to access cursor.png without knowing where cursor.png is, which is why I got the error come up on the screen then. So if I save the file, save it to C Blitz 3D. YouTube custom cursor, okay, so I'm just going to call it cursor. So now Blitz knows where to run the file from, it should find that, that image file. So if I run this, you'll see that I've got an image instead of my cursor, instead of my pointer. Uh, problem with that is obviously I'm getting a white background, so I'm going to make it, I'm going to use a file called, a command called mask image. What this does is it tells Blitz what colour to use as being transparent on that image. So by default, Blitz will use black as the transparent image colour. I'm going to change that now so that it uses white, so I just get the green on that image and not the white back in. So, mask image RNG cursor, and then I give it the uh, RGB values, which is red, green, and blue, which for white is 255 for all three values. And that is how bright it is with red, how bright with green, how bright with blue. Um, obviously white is all colours brightest, so you specify that. So if I now run this, you'll see I get my colour. And it's green with no backing. So that's perfect for the start of the base, almost like that if I'm shooting things. And that's it. I'm going to put another tutorial up today um, on how to use animated images. That's something I've been putting on for a while. Uh, I'll put that up later this evening. Okay, I'll see you later. Bye.